Hey everybody, um, just want to jump on here really quick. Um, yes, I'm on vacation currently with my family, but I know I haven't um, put out a video in a while. And the Lord has just kind of been giving me some things this morning. So I wanted to jump, just jump on here really quick um, just to kind of share. Um, you know, I woke up this morning, um, as I quite often do, I look at, um, you know, my daily inspiration, my Bible verse for the day. Um, I go to my Bible app as I'm sure many of us do, um, and see what the verse of the day is and kind of start off, you know, um, with the word of the Lord. And today's scripture was um, from Philippians 2.5 that says, Adopt the same attitude as that of Christ Jesus. And it's a great scripture, right? And I'm sure right now you're looking at the beautiful view behind me and you're like, yeah, easy for you to say, you know, i got the beautiful beach behind me. We're currently vacationing right now in Florida. And so you might think, oh, it's so easy right now to do that, right, because of my surroundings. But let me tell you, um, right now we're currently where we're at. Um, there's, there's supposed to be two elevators, right? Only one is working, and right now it's currently spotty. So sometimes it may work, sometimes it may not. I mean, it just started doing that. And so... Um, we had that issue last night where part of the day when we went out, the elevator worked, and then when we went to come back, the elevator didn't work. Um, so Sunday afternoon, we had to take the stairs to get to our room, which wouldn't seem like a big deal until you were on the eighth floor and you have to take all those stairs. And for me, if I'm just being honest, Stairs are a challenge for me when it's more than two flights. I'm just physically with my body. Um, that's something that I've had to um, just kind of work through over the years. So stairs are a challenge for me. You know, I don't like lots of flights of stairs going up and down repeatedly, right? Um, so that was a challenge. So we had to go up eight flights of stairs, change clothes, then we had to go back down eight flights of stairs to get to our vehicle. Um, and then of course, after we returned home from going out to eat, the elevator worked fine, no big deal. We took the elevator up to our room, all was good. Um, well then last night, when my husband and son went out and they came back, um, same thing, the elevator wasn't working. So up the flights of stairs again. So um, this morning, me and my husband and my son went out for a little bit um, and we took the elevator down, was gone maybe an hour, came back, elevator wasn't working, so up the stairs we go again. Like I said, that's an inconvenience for me, that's a, that's a challenge for me. Um, so you see why that verse was so significant for me today regardless of my beautiful surroundings and it's so easy to be it's peaceful here it's calm here and you might think oh it's so easy to have the attitude of christ but even little things like the elevator not working um could have caused my whole attitude to change you know um, am i going to allow that to totally ruin my week because we have six more days here and who knows if the elevator is going to work it's anybody's guess, you know, so who knows how many more times I'll have to take those stairs. And I could just easily get frustrated, you know, leave a bad review, and just be a total, um, you know, in a total ill mood the whole time I'm here because of that inconvenience for me. But I can't do that, right? I have to have the same attitude that Jesus had. That's, that's a small thing. That's small stuff compared to um, the light of the gospel and who Jesus is and what he's done for us. You know, he endured the cross for me. He suffered to the point of sweating drops of blood, right? So I think I can endure a few flights of stairs. So um, I just wanted to just share that with you really quickly, you know. Um, just to that one small thing, the one small thing that you weren't anticipating, that you didn't take into account, that one small thing um, that is an inconvenience for you, that tries your patience, um, that tests your attitude, 
um, don't let that one thing distract from all the beauty and wonder that God has placed around you. Don't let that distract from the moment that he has you in for whatever his purpose may be and say, God, whatever lesson you want me to get out of this, you know, because especially if you want to be used by God, you're going to have to deal with being inconvenienced. You know, God may send me somewhere where there are no elevators. So guess what? I've got to be willing to walk flights of stairs, hills, mountains, valleys, whatever it is to do what God has called me to do. And so I can just as easily have focused on that one thing that's not working where I can celebrate all the beautiful things that God has given me, time away with my family, the beautiful ocean, relaxation, you know, time off from work, not having to set my alarm and get up at 4.30 in the morning, you know, and that's what I choose to focus on. So it's all about what you choose to focus on and having the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Rejoice in the Lord always, as the Bible says. You know, find joy in every circumstance. There's God everywhere around you. There's God wings everywhere around you. And choose to um, embrace where he has you at right now. And ask him, God, you know, you know this is a challenge for me. You know this is an inconvenience for me. What would you have me to learn in this moment as I lean on you for guidance? And thank you, God for every single moment that you give me and for leading me, leading me throughout my day, whatever may come. Love you guys. Be blessed.